Today on Top Flatter Mouse, we have slugs coming all the way from Mother Russia. Today we'll be testing these prototype 12 gauge slugs from Alexei Lavrov of St. Petersburg, Russia. These are solid brass and similar to the copper version that we tested just a few months ago. The flat nose is designed to cut through brush rather than be deflected by it. These utilize a four pedal discarding Sabo system and the purpose of those is to keep it centered in the barrel. Alexei, who has a PhD in astronomy, posts frequently to his channel and you'll be able to see upcoming projects long, long before we get to test them. So be sure to go on and check out Alexi's channel for us and see what you think. Or he'll be very mad. Yes. <laughs> In test number one, it's very apparent that we have a very accurate slug here and a very capable marksman, markswoman. Right out of the gate, Brianna's doing great. No practice shots, right? No. <laughs> Never give any, we don't have enough rounds to, to, to produce practice shots. We're going in there. Yeah. It's just very mangled up in there. Not bad, great shooting. Oh, just about wanted to come through. There's a brand new Danny plate there too. Try to make its way through. I talked to Danny a, a few days ago, and he uh, he's he's almost he might be able to shoot this weekend. I'm not sure. Mm. Give him something light to shoot, so you don't break more ribs. 22. Start him out on 22 and run him yeah. up. Yeah, <laughs> Daisy <laughs> air rifle. The Red Rider. Yeah. A lot of people are asking about Danny though, so he's he's getting better. It's just a long healing time. A great shooting, look at that. Bam. You should drill a hole and then make a necklace out of that. Uh, we got 10 cans of water all lined up. We'll see if the slug will stay on course as it passes through these. Oh, man. We often experiment with different types of targets. For the most part, it gives you an idea of the energy and accuracy of a slug. <laughs> Three of them made it out alive. So it went in through seven of them. That's pretty good. Yeah. Next We've, up, we're going to take all these and build a uh, hillbilly biplane out of all of the aluminum cans. <laughs> I think we can do it. That looks like the last one right there. That one you just you're just this, holding. This was the last one? Yeah. I think it was. Because that one was still on the table over here. Okay. The last, last of the Mohit cans. It just... <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Not, bad. Not bad. Seven out of ten. That was a badass explosion. It was. It was Hopefully like the, very energetic. Okay. We're going to bring back the homemade body armor. Who was that made by? Um, Tick Me Out Meow. Tick Me Out, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> this one stopped 45 and 9 millimeter and stuff. Yeah. What's it going to do to a brass slug? Yeah. He's, where are you aiming? At the X. At the X, okay. <laughs> Literal X. Okay, I'm ready. 1420. All right, we got a good corona reading. In a previous video, we tested this small sample piece of body armor sent to us by Tech This Out Meow. This thing was able to stop 9mm and 40 caliber easily, but it was absolutely no match for this massive Russian disassembulator slug from Russia, if that's even a thing. Just from my analysis, my expert eyeball, that they're a little bit low. Does that look loady? You definitely put the owl back in analysis. <laughs> These were, yeah, hitting a little low. It's just a little bit low, but I mean, yeah. she nailed right on the X. Yeah. Shot her X. <laughs> How many of you want to shoot your X? But here's the cool thing. We found this downrange in two separate pieces. The fiberglass jacket with a hole in it, front and back. By the way, this is Officer Greg. Oh yeah, from, what, Don't you have a channel? I have an OG Danger Show if you'd ever like to stop <laughs> okay. by. Now we got that out of the way, okay. Link in the description. Um, <laughs> But look at that, I mean, it just ripped, the power of that just ripped that 
resined fiberglass. Yeah, That's amazing. Cool. And then this HDPE stuff, which you saw in a previous video, absorbed some pistol rounds. It uh, more or less kind of melted its way through there. Nice smooth hole entrance and a tear out the back. It's a ferocious round. Yeah. Ferocious. Ferocious. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's a good little. Ow. And what are your thoughts? Oh, that was awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was cool. Put you on. I like that it ripped this. Isn't that crazy? I like that it didn't, like, yeah, it just ripped it completely. It just yeah. Ripped I thought that was cool. Yeah. Just yeah. disassembled it. Since they've been consistently going a little, just a little bit low, maybe a half an inch low, she's going to aim a little bit high. See if that makes a difference and get it right on that black dot. Indicated by the orange arrow there. Wow. <laughs> As always, we really appreciate you taking the time to rate the video. Now we've shot a lot of hard drives on this channel and this is probably the most impressive shot I've ever seen. Not only was the shot accurate, that thing went through two computer hard drives like butter. can see here she completely missed the center of the of the dot <laughs> by like half a millimeter <laughs> but, um, <laughs> these things are these are accurate but and you and but she's accurate too you know so look at that oh there you go and then look at this this is more impressive <laughs> that's a bfh <laughs> that's the official technical term but um that is cool look how it's look like a through those parts right, yeah right through that one yeah it's, it's like a machine knocked that out or something is that <laughs> uh -huh. it's like a, a special machine knocked punched a hole through it you know <laughs> it did yeah the brianna machine the brianna slugomatic 5000 the, the bb gunner that's another of your nickname is bb gunner i think <laughs> bionic brianna Oh God! <laughs> um, sweet. Yeah, look at that. That's you could look at the size of that one. You, you could put a you could put a big toe through that one. Yeah, you could get a baby. Can we get that? There. <laughs> a big toe wiggle. <laughs> film right through that thing. It's a filter. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> wow. I, it's just so cleanly through both of them. That's amazing. I hope somebody makes a joke on the comment section about. Um, Hillary's hard drives. Yeah, you, you, and knocking all of the <laughs> sensitive information out of these because that's never been done before. <laughs> <laughs> that and starving children in uh, true. China. Or yeah, whatever. finally the starving children in Africa thing went away. Yeah, I guess they're not starving anymore. Hey, where are you aiming at the little blue thingy there, I drew? Yeah. And we're gonna see if we can capture the slug with the best this time. <laughs> It always fascinates me how just pure inertia, just the speed of that slug hitting that aluminum plate can just knock a perfect hole out like that. There really wasn't much holding the plate in, in place, just that wooden board kind of behind it, keeping it from falling over. Well, that slug made a pretty badass uh, hole right through it's there. It's a little high. It's not her fault. It's it's because the uh, relative humidity has changed a little bit. Sure. This, and this. the Earth actually shifted in the time. Yeah, the Coriolis <laughs> effect. But, I mean, look how perfectly centered that is. It almost looks like it was drilled into the aluminum. Yeah, yeah. And then what's even more batter asser, it hit the vest, knocked the trauma plate out and across the, the ground here. We did some towel flater surgery and came up with the brass slug itself which has a little burnished nose on it. And we're wondering where all that aluminum went. And then later, way up here in the shoulder, it shot it way up here in the shoulder, is the aluminum slug. Yeah, it just punched it out. Look how they fit together. Show them how they snap together like a puzzle for simpletons. It's, uh, <laughs> and it has the, it, it brought the little Kevlar striations with it. That uh, scored, does it hit the Kevlar? It's pretty badass. Yeah. That's cool. That is a slug. So, cool. could you put it back in there, put it back together, and we could take this plate back to the store? <laughs> Tell them. This little 
Flex seal holding it in there? Yeah, that'll work, sure. <laughs> I think we can do it. I'm gonna be out here for a little bit. Hey, you need a, maybe, oh, it goes the other way. I'll just put it over here in this one. Okay, there, there you works. go, all fixed. <laughs> Okay, she is, how's your shoulder holding up, by the way? I mean, it'll probably be sore tomorrow, because I've seen this like nine times. Yeah, yeah. No complaints, though. I have to keep but asking her. I like shooting too much to complain. <laughs> <laughs> we keep getting her a little more powerful slugs every time, just kind of feeling her out. You know, it's like, she hasn't said uncle yet. <laughs> okay, so we're at, we're at 50 yards. We're going to see how these things group. And that's some a little bit of artwork that Officer Greg made. left of the J, but right down there with it. Okay, okay Home Kilroy. Home what? Improvement at least brings it back to about 20 years ago. <laughs> Kilroy was years about 40 years ago. Corey Kilroy was from World War II. Oh. Okay. So round number one, hit a little bit high. Round number two, kabam, right in the che. Round number three, on the lip again, and then round number four, just left of che. Okay, you, you got the ruler here. Let me add the. It's a. To unburden it's, you. It's a two and a half foot group. <laughs> no. Okay, I wasn't that bad, you guys. <laughs> Farthest round, center to center, is a seven inch group. 50 yards with big old can shaped slugs yeah that's pretty uh pretty good yeah. i'm not gonna with kind of finger those with 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 a red oh, dot that is thank not you. <laughs> thank you thank you for moving thank you brianna for moving because <laughs> that would not have looked with right brianna standing behind this cardboard <laughs> and the og finger wheel it probably would have looked a little weird <laughs> youtube would have not only demonetized but would have actually just shut down yeah they would have just shut their doors <laughs> But yeah, not bad. I mean, right in the chain right there. That was round number that was two. The, yeah. Yeah. So, so without any adjustment or anything like that, we had a little bit of variation. And, no, and it, nice. it, but it might be her, but it probably is the even, powder load or could be whatever. Even you know. factory slugs, even factory slugs that are factory perfect. With slugs at 50 yards, 100 yards, you're going to get all kinds of variation. Yeah. You're never going to get a tight Unless you're like Buffalo you Outdoors. With hand loads and with a rifle, ch with rifle choke, he's nailing a tight group with that. Yeah. 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 But shotguns are not designed to print a tight little group like a rifle does, even at. Uh, even that would have been a, a dead boar, one one way or the other, though. That would have been a dead ground squirrel. Yeah. You could have killed a sparrow with those slugs from this <laughs> distance. Well, thank you, Alexei Lavrov from uh, Leningrad, da, Russia. Da, darling. Thank you very much. And he's got some great slugs coming up. They're in the mill right now. Oh, yeah? The Extremsky Defenderskis. Oh, my God. 12 gauge. That was bad. <laughs> well, that was, it was pretty bad. Defenderskis. <laughs> oh, that must be Russian then. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you guys for coming out. Brianna for shooting. That was awesome. Another fun video. The sun's going down on us here in the middle of the afternoon. It's. <laughs> because California is under a, a about a mile foot a mile thickness of uh, smoke. Yeah. So we're uh, we better clear out of here. Not because the gender of, reveals. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> gender reveals. It's gonna be a girl. I think there's like 50 separate major fires going on in California right now. Yeah, if people just went to it, get an ultrasound and find out if they're having a girl, they wouldn't even need the fires. Oh. They wouldn't have to don't ever do that. Don't ever have a gender reveal there. Or a baby, for that matter. Well. You can't have a bad gender reveal if you don't have a baby, am I right? Yeah. Unless it's this is a puppy or something. Keep it a surprise. <laughs> yeah, gender of your new puppy. Right. Buy all your clothes in yellow. <laughs> anyway, we thank you guys for coming out. We will see you on the next video. <laughs>
on almost every video we get a comment or two saying hey you ought to sell some t-shirts and apparently they can't see that merch shelf that's on every single video on YouTube. Now I'll put a link to Teespring where you can purchase our shirts. Uh, we get a few dollars for each sale and it helps support our channel. The shirts come in a wide variety of styles, different colors, and many different sizes from uh, very small to you know, circus stance size. But anyway, this concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for rating it. We'll see you next time.